So this guy's 25 feet down beneath the surface, and he gets attacked by a great white shark. Head first, he tries to eat Jeez. this guy. Jeez, how did not just chomp him in half? Yeah. So yeah. he has... The only thing that's pretty much saved this guy's life, well, two things, but one thing just that prevented him from getting chomped in half was the lead scuba gear, or the, the vest, the lead buoyancy vest that these scuba divers wear. So in his one hand, he has his chisel, like his, his knife, scuba knife, so he's panicking. With his free hand, he started filling up the side. I'm <laughs> thinking it's like inside this shark's mouth. Your hand's outside the mouth. He's filling for the eye of the shark while he's inside the mouth. And he starts poking it with his <laughs> fingers. And he's just trying to gouge this eye out. But his hand with the knife was free. And so when he started stabbing the eye of the shark with the other knife, with his other hand, with his knife, the shark lets him go finally. His son's in the boat watching this happen. He's like, holy crap, my dad's getting eaten by a shark. So yeah. they were able to, his son was able to pull him out of the water. Uh, they rushed him to the hospital and he had a ton of surgeries and then making a full recovery but 